honor of the spring equinox, we've come to the U.S. Capitol to remember poet and diplomat John Hay. The crows at Washington, slow flapping to the setting sun by twos and threes in wavering rows, as twilight shadows dimly close, the crows fly over Washington. Under the crimson sunset sky, Virginian woodlands leafless lie in wintry torpor, bleak and dun, through the rich vault of heaven, which shines like a warmed opal in the sun. With wide advance in broken lines, the crows fly over Washington. Over the Capitol's white dome, across the obelisk soaring bare, to prick the clouds they travel home, content and weary winnowing. With dusky vans the golden air, which hints the coming of the spring, though winter whitens Washington. The dim, deep air, the level ray of dying sunlight on their plumes, give them a beauty not their own. Their hoarse notes fail and faint away. A rustling murmur floating down blends sweetly with the thickening glooms. They touch with grace the fading day, slow flying over Washington. I stand and watch with clouded eyes. These dim battalions move along. Out of the distance, memory cries of days when life and hope were strong when love was prompt and wit was gay. Even then at evening, as today, I watched while twilight hovered dim over Potomac's curving rim, this self-same flight of homing crows blotting the sunlight's fading rose above the roofs of Washington. John Hay moved to Washington, D.C. to serve as one of two personal secretaries to President Abraham Lincoln living in the White House beginning at age 22, sharing a second floor bedroom in the northeast corner of the residence with John G. Nicolay. Hay trained as a lawyer, and other than six years as a journalist for the New York Tribune, he spent his career in government. Hay is the author of a novel, The Breadwinners, a travel memoir, Castilian Days, and two books of poems, Pike County Ballads and Poems. He co-authored with Nicolay the biography, Abraham Lincoln, A History. Hay was always very modest about his literary achievements. In a letter to William Dean Howells in 1890, he wrote, I have had the impudence to collect all my verses, new and stale, into one volume which Houghton and Mifflin have printed. But I have at the same time printed a little edition of them for my friends and lovers, of which I send you a copy. You will not suspect me of taking them too seriously in thus dressing them up. On the contrary, it is only the conscious amateur who does such things. Hay held diplomatic posts in France, Spain, Austria, and the United Kingdom. He was Secretary of State under Presidents William McKinley and Theodore Roosevelt. Hay was one of the first seven people elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1904. None of his former homes, other than the White House, still stand. His grand mansion on Lafayette Square, built on the same property as the home of his best friend, Henry Adams, is now the site of the Hay Adams Hotel.